This is Madman Dan, Operation Goldeneye, USSR, CCP, July 19, January 1937. All right. Um, I guess, what are we doing? We're going to start off by rolling some tech. Uh, for the USSR, there's not really much you can do early the game. It's just a bit of lend-lease. But let's see, we're going to roll again for Advanced Artillery, Long Age Aircraft, and Wartime Economy. Alright. So, first, Advanced Artillery. Uh, success. So that goes up to Stage 1, Long Range Aircraft. Nope, not today. And wartime economy. That's another nothing. So again, one out of three, not the best, but it'll have to do. All right, so on to production. We are, as the USSR, we're going to upgrade a medium factory to a major. In Stalingrad, we're going to lend lease our public and infantry. We're going to give $2 to Great Britain. Now, I have opened up some diplomatic cables. We are trading $2 for France upgrading a militia in Spain to an infantry. Now, uh, it's going to be up to Panzer J where he wants this $2 to go to. Um, but I'll assume he wants it in Great Britain. But I can send it to any of his uh, minor nations in the Commonwealth. Uh, so that will be all my money for the USSR. And as the CCC, CCP, we're going to spend $1 to increase recruitment. And we're going to save that by $2. All right. Uh, combat. So Spain is not looking too well for me. I think next turn he could do a reasonably successful attack into uh, Madrid. So I'm I'm going to pounce on these three units and hopefully I get lucky and am able to kill all of them <laughs> without too much damage myself. So I'm going to bring in four infantry and a cavalry. The cavalry will go from Andalusia to uh, Murcia, Valencia, and then into Catalonia. This gives me an option to retreat back here if I, well, if I feel like it. And this fighter will go in too. He doesn't have to worry about any scrambling fighters. There's no base in Austria So I think we can just get straight to it. So I'll just copy these down to the battle board down here. So I'm going to have four at one. Four at one, one at two, and one at six. He's going to have one at three, and two at four. So let's see how bad we do here. Gonna roll this all at once. I think that's misses all around. Uh, somehow, okay, yeah, lost the dice, so I'll roll one more. Hey, we got a hit. All right, so not the best roll. Uh, and technically, he should have got his first strike first. So hopefully he'll miss, and we don't have to redo anything. Oh, dang it. Um, so I would have probably... No, I unironically would have taken the cavalry off. But 
And I guess that is hindsight. So, you know what? Um, I'll, I'll take an infantry off, and I guess we'll have to do a 25% roll to say if the one I took off happened to get that hit. So, I think I'll roll this again. One, two, three is uh, the infantry that was first striked. Uh, happened to be the infantry that got the hit. No, oh, uh, we're good. All right. So, and he'll have two more at four. Hi, hey, that's pretty good. So I'm going to assume he wants to take his artillery off, but if he doesn't, um, we can worry about that after the game. And I've lost one infantry. So that wasn't too disastrous for me. And we'll go again. <laughs> that is a six and another one. <laughs> My plane, plane cannot hit, but at least uh, one of my infantry can. And that's one hit for him as well. So I will take the cavalry off this time, and he'll take an infantry off. All right, so I have three infantry left, and one fighter and he has one infantry left um you know what i'm going to retreat so he's just gonna have one infantry left and oh yeah well, that was right he's gonna have one infantry left and i'm gonna have three and we'll all fly back to madrid so i think that was a decent trade um i got rid of his two well units that could attack into Madrid at the cost of, well, a unit that doesn't defend very well, and then, well, a good unit. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we take that. And as long as I don't <laughs> roll a four for my recruitment, um, I think this is the right decision. All right, so that is combat, um, non-combat. I'm just going to move this Republican coastal submarine up here, and... I think I'll just leave those two boats there. Uh, anything in Russia I want to move? Yes, these two boats will move three. Also up to this season, season 33. Um, this torpedo boat destroyer will move up to the Bering Sea, season seven. Uh, this stack of three units, three infantry, uh, militia, and uh, motorized will move into Cheetah. Um, Boston Bruce reached out to me and asked me if I wish to sign a non-aggression pact, and I don't think I will. Um, I'm all for not having being non-aggressive, but I would like to keep the opportunity to lend these to um, the CCP, well, if they live, and the KMT. But I, I, you have my Soviet word that I won't attack you, <laughs> despite uh, me, bas me massing on your borders. Um, these units can stay here, these units are, can stay here, and you know what, um, we don't really have to, well, we'll move these two infantry up into Karjala from Western Russia. Uh, yep, this motorized, this motorized can go into Eastern Ukraine. Um, this infantry will rail, it, rail itself to uh, Karjala. This infantry will rail itself to, well, move into Stalingrad. Or I'll move into North Caucasia. Um, and this infantry will rail itself to Trans Caucasia. And those are our are, are non combats. Um, CCP isn't really doing anything. 
So they're just going to jump straight to their recruitment roles and alignments. So we're going to get our lucky red die. Well, not lucky so far, but we hope for the best. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is roll my alignment for a warlord. Um, might be a bit risky, but yeah, we'll, we'll try to line this one, this guy again. I'm looking for one or two. <laughs> almost. Uh, it wanted to be a one. It was almost there. And our recruitment. We're definitely just looking for one now. <laughs> almost again. Oh, well. So that's a big flub for the... CCP. Uh, I guess we could do the Republicans too. We have three zones to roll on. So we're looking for a one, two, or a three. That is a six. So no luck with recruitment this turn. Um, we're going to collect three or two bucks as the KM CCP, and we're going to collect eight dollars as the Russians. And with that, I'll pass you off to Boston Bruce with his Japanese turn in January of 1936. Sorry, 1937. Um, I hope everyone has a great day and have a good one. Bye.